Alright, we're gonna start on a, a little heritage sauce down here. Same process, just like the other one. We cheese sprayed it. We hit it with the pressure washer. And we'll come in and we'll wash it. And then uh, we'll pull it in the garage over here and we'll get started. We'll show you kind of our process and what we do on the inside. Once we get, you can see this one right here. This one's really dirty. It's got a, a lot of road grime on it. It's been on a couple road trips since the last detail. So this one will be doing next. It's got a lot of dirt. So, and then uh, we'll pull those in the garage here and then we'll do the finishing wiping down and I'll show you how to do that. All right, I'm gonna take you guys over here to the Harley. Got some really, really bad scratches. You guys see those in the light? Just from like swinging your leg over it. Some bad scratches on this too. Even up over here. You see that? Now that's not dirt. That's just scratches. Now we buff this side. Look how glass that looks. So I'm going to show you what we have to do to get this to look like that one. See how nice that looks? the light in there so okay let me show you okay our first step is going to take some extra cut I'm just going to squeeze it on there then I'm going to take my handheld bonnet and I'm just going to massage that in okay the reason I do it by hand first is the extra cuts pretty abrasive so we don't want to get the buffer on there just yet I'm just trying to get some of the big scratches off. Okay. So. Now I can feel it. It's pretty uh, aggressive cutting through that. Let me grab my towel here. All right, that's my towel. So I'm just gonna wipe it off. The reason being is I don't want too much compound on there. So I'm gonna put the buffer on it. Okay. So. Got that like that, and I'm gonna set it on the buffing pad right here. The wolf had the yellow pad. I'm gonna come over to this. All right, now I'm just gonna take some mild cut, put it on my little pad, start real low, just gonna work it in. I don't want it to fly off everywhere just because we detailed the bike already. Okay, I'm just start real slow. All the way at the lowest setting. Okay. And put a little bit more speed on it. Wipe it all the excess compound off. Okay, now I'm going to switch out my pad. My cut pad is right there. Now I'm going to put on my polishing pad. Okay. Now I'm going to take my swirl remover, my McGuire swirl remover. Same thing, I'm just going to put some on the panel. Start real slow. Kind of massage it in. Turn up the speed a little. Speed up about 1500. Okay, it 
should be pretty much all it needs for the cutting. I'm going to come over the final part with a wax. All right, here's the club car. We got her all detailed up. Final look down. Come out pretty nice. All conditioned up, plastics look good, wheels, tires. And then here's our motorcycles. Chad just finishing up the one he's working on here. Come out real nice. Here's the other one. And then this is the one that we did the polish on. Had the really bad scratches. Really bad scratches over here. You get all those polished out come out really really good so you went up on the front so I glass again like they're supposed to be we had some really bad polish really bad uh, scratches on the front as well so anyway um, this is today's job three Harleys and a golf cart so check us out scottysmobiledetailing.com and see what we can do for you also look forward to Astroquake coming, building videos as we speak right now.